Cartman Organic's the yard, and this is the Mana Organic Field. So we grow the fruit and the veg and the salad for the the shop, and then we have a permaculture zone, which is apples, apples and fruit bushes and nuts and stuff like that. You said they were Irish native the, apples. They are, yeah. The first trees we got were one hundred and twenty apple trees from Seed Savers. So we went up to Seed Savers to see if we could like one or two apples, and we went for three years. We went and tasted the apples because they have an open day and you can taste the apples off the tree. And sure, there was like twenty seven that we liked out of it. <laughs> so we ended up getting it. Was one of the big investments in the farm when we started, and now we have like the trees are pretty much mature. They need a little bit more care, but like, yeah, they're surviving. So the idea was to take the trees from around the country, plant them on the side of a mountain in Kerry, and if they survive, then we can see if they're any good, like. So we'll propagate off of them. And then we have, um, we're involved in the Million Tree Planting. It's a project around Ireland. To try. Mm-hmm. It was originally set up to try and plant a million trees in a day. But then uh, that didn't work because it was a volunteer thing. But they got about 400,000 trees planted. But they've wow. been running now for five or six years. And then as part of that last year, the year before last, we got uh, 40 damsons and damsons and plum trees of seven different varieties. And then this year we got uh, 120 cuttings of um, of elderberries. But they're cultivable elderberries. So when we came to the farm, we planted elderberries first. But these are the cultivable varieties. So they'll like be York better. or... Yeah, you, you like York, but there's not York. I'm not sure. I forget what the names are, but they're they're pretty good. And then on the top here, we planted um, thirteen acres of native or native woodland. So it's about sixty percent oak, and all the trees used to grow. And our plan is to raise. What's the altitude here? The altitude above ground, down here about um about sixty meters up there about one hundred and twenty. So there's a good. No, distance. I mean in in Ireland above the ocean. The you mean the height above the sea? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'd say here we're about fifty meters. Wow. Yeah, yeah, down in the base field inside in the yard here. So this was the original farmhouse and that was sold a good few years ago. But then we bought the land that was around there. So we had a pub and tree and we um so I had my, my little bit of maps cut out. Yep, and here you uh-huh. have your agro homeopathy kit. Do I you use a, it? I do, yeah. Mainly um the 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 snail one and the silica. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm not, like, I'm gaining knowledge all the time, but I'm not kind of confident enough to... Oh, yeah. And then what yeah. do you do here? These are my slug pepper. And so I put in some... So you can see what I have is a, a tag on it. I'll show you one outside, actually. It's easier. Okay. So I have my peppers, my slug pepper, and I have rat pepper, and I have... Um, and bird pepper, just to repel them. Mm-hmm. Because I had a lot of trouble at the end of last year. But then I was talking to David and he was saying you shouldn't set it up and let it run continuously. Yeah. But and you I have your farm this map here. Lower. You have your farm map. And in then... the zones and the fields. Yep. But I can show you what I have. Um... Yeah, I wonder where you learned that from. I wonder where I learned it from. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is just time. Not having the time to turn around and... Uh... Yeah, but that's what we call paper radionics. Yeah. So you can see. And I got magnetic ink. So this is like, you have your message. Yep. And this is our this is my message here. Slanter Grog Asunus. Love, health, and happiness, and I thought that was a good one. Very good. And then I even, I think I even have. Uh, you might recognise those. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So David and us got uh, magnetic ink, and we printed them out. Yep. But again, it's just Great. time. Great. So yeah, it's there, smart yeah. around here. <laughs> and these are just a collection of seeds and stuff. These are my man of turnip seeds. That's from your farm. Yeah. Ninth generation. So we went up to Seed Savers and we collected, uh, we got five varieties of turnips off them, turnips and Swedes. They were okay. grown in Ireland between the 1850s and the 1900s oh, wow. because of good genetics. And I reckon like they knew what they were doing. So we grew them out and we've been saving the seed off them. So now we're on a, this year will be our 10th generation of them. Okay, yeah. so Climatized. you select them every time. The seed companies grow them in such bulk they don't really select. No, they don't select. And every time it's kind of new generation. And every time the seed goes onto the land, it's like it's a newborn onto the place. It doesn't know it like. Whereas these lads are getting used to it. Kind of like myself, I suppose. <laughs> and these are uh, these are seeds in from... That's asparagus. We started planting asparagus two years ago. We seeded it up. Oh, so we're okay. going to do one of our sections in asparagus. I have a couple of beds growing up and I'm going to multiply them out. But that's Irish seed savers. So you can buy seeds off them from all varieties. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so this asparagus would have been saved here in Ireland for a good few years. Right. It probably says in the back. Okay. Yeah. So let's go 